This is the arrangement of the core cavity, where in the core is inserted another core. This is what is then called the insert core. In this video, we will learn how to make an insert core. Okay, let's go. We take a drawing of an existing product with the command, insert, part. Then select a file name and open it. Then click OK. In this drawing, I have placed the parting line parallel to the top plane. The next step is to add the shrinkage value to this part. Select Scale, then Set to Origin. And set the shrinkage value to 1.02. Click Part, then OK. This means that this part is made of polypropylene. The shrinkage value is 2%. You notice, the part is enlarged 2% from the point of origin. So that the parting line position remains in the top plane. Next, click the parting line, then select the top plane as the direction of pull. Draft analysis at an angle of 1 degree. The parting line is complete. The mold can be seated into the core and cavity. Red is negative, or core surface. And green is positive, or cavity surface. OK. Can be seen more closely. Then select the parting surface, as the dividing surface between the core and the cavity. Select manual method, and perpendicular to pull. Manual mode for edges forming a closed loop. Set the offset distance at 75 millimeters. View from right side. Drag vertices on the preview rectangle to set a direction and optimize surface creation in that region. Drag vertex to adjust the surface. You can also return it to its original position. OK. To separate the core and cavity, then select the split tooling command. Select a planar planar surface on which to sketch the feature cross section. Select rectangle. 190 mm height set. 134 mm wide. OK. Exit sketch. Look. Parting line for core and cavity, and parting surface is automatically selected. You can determine the depth or thickness of the core and cavity. OK. Now the core is formed. And the cavity. Next, we'll cut off the excess outer hump. Sketch the cutting lines on the front plane. Make the slope of the line parallel. With a distance of 10 millimeters. Then, sketch fillet radius 1 millimeter. OK and exit sketch. Select split, and click the body to be split. Click cut bodies. Click body 2. OK. Combine cavity with split part. OK.
we can also add a radius to these two edge relationships. For cores, set the radius at 2 mm. Then for the cavity, set the angle equal to or smaller than 2 mm. OK. We see that this section protrudes so high against the surface of the parting line. Then here is the planting or insert method. Where the insert material used adjusts the volume of the product. In the mold tool, select core. Make a sketch on the plane surface. Then make a sketch on the plane surface. Create a dividing line from the width of the product by making a guide line in the form of a center line. Select rectangle. Set height at 105 mm and 87 mm wide. Set the corner fillet at 7 mm. Exit sketch. Select through all. Set the depth at 20 mm. You can also subtract or add. Caps end to cover the entire surface of the product. OK. Core bodies appear. This is called insert core. We need to add bolt holes to fasten the insert core to the core. First, we make a tapped hole. We need a sketch line to help determine the position of the hole point. Select the hole wizard. Then click straight tap. You can choose the standard according to your needs. Bottoming type hole. In this case, I will choose JIS standard. Then metric 8 size, pitch 1.25. Set hole depth at 25 millimeters. Tap thread depth 20 millimeters. Click 3D sketch, then click the position of the bolt hole. OK. You can display the bolt holes as if there is a thread view by setting tools. Options. Document properties. Detailing. Check shaded cosmetic threads. OK. This is what the tapped hole looks like. chamfer on the bottom edge of the 1.5 mm insert core, 45 degree angle. In order to make it easier to insert cores planted in the core housing. Then make two holes for the bolt housing that is symmetrical to the tap hole. Select hole wizard, counter bore, JIS, hexagonal socket head cap, size metric 8. Click Show Custom Sizing. Change the counterbore depth deeper at 10 mm. Through All. Select Bodies to be punched. Click any position on the bottom surface of the core. Then set Concentric to the tap hole above it. OK.
Next video. Core cavity construction with two products. Complete with pin holes, housing holes, sprue hole, and runners. See you.